Capricorn, this is your January 2018 Mint Month Love Reading. My name is Marlena with Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot. Welcome to my channel. What we're going to do is work on how you're feeling, how your partner's feeling. We're going to get some advice and then we're going to get you, oh, actually we're going to look at the obstacles, then we're going to get some advice. Make sure you look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity. Also, because I'm doing how you're feeling and how they're feeling, this can go vice versa. So sometimes one may resonate with you more than your partner, vice versa. Okay, so welcome to my channel, guys. <laughs> We're going to look at the past, present, and future for Capricorn, mid-month, January 15th through the 31st. January 15th through the 31st, Capricorn. Past, present, future. Okay. All right, just to let you guys know, so far what has come out for you is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction between you and your mate. This is, this is how it was in the past. Then children started to become an issue in your life. Not an issue, because children are never issues. I got three. <laughs> children aren't have issues. They don't affect your love life. <laughs> ah! Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and... Um, <laughs> So let me just show you what came out. You received chemistry, children, true love, and career and finances. These all came out upright. So let's get some clarity because overall it looks like you guys came together. You feel like this person is your true love, but some of you are just having some financial issues right now, Capricorn. So, you know, there's someone who you had a deep connection with you're very magnetically attracted to them. Seem like things just happen, just happen so easily, seamlessly. Some of you may have been dealing with the Virgo, but um, I feel like you might have been having issues even with finances in the past. Maybe you're someone who doesn't know how to really keep your finances in check. Some of you might also be dealing with an Aries, but I feel like um, although there was chemistry, you have uh, left this person out. You haven't talked to this person in a while. You may have stepped away from this relationship for a little bit because I feel like some of you felt trapped. You wanted something more passionate. You wanted something just deeper. You wanted something more, more. I feel like you just wanted something more. But I feel like, you know, in the past here, you did have to heal from this heartbreak. You realize that you did have other options, and then you call yourself trying to accept love somewhere else. Ah, or accept love with this person anyway, um, because I also received the six of, six of Swords, which leads me to believe you guys went back. Yeah, this is someone who you definitely saw a future with. Um... You may not, you may or may not have children with this person, but I feel like maybe some of you were thinking that you went back to someone who had children, but this may not be your children. It may not be your children is what I'm seeing. It, it may not be. Okay. So let's see what's going on with these children. Your love life is being affected by these children. Why is your love life being affected by these children? Oh, somebody might be going through some type of court proceeding. Someone may be staying in a relationship due to these children. Um, they felt trapped, felt like they needed to stay in this relationship, and now they're feeling like they have to compete for the other's love. Um, I'm seeing a lot of fire here. Some of you may be also dealing with a Sagittarius, I see Aries. Um, but whatever this is, this, this situation about these, around these children are keeping you up at night. Someone, I feel strongly that someone is really saying that maybe they're staying because of the children, like they can't leave because of the children. But I feel like, you know, um, Capricorn, you feel like this is your true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. 
but I feel like it's on hold. Yeah, there's no actions being taken here. Um, someone is very sad that they can't move forward in this relationship. Um, let me just show you what came out. Five of Cups, Eight of Wands in reverse. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So again, this, this is things not moving forward. This is something being put on hold until things can come into alignment. And someone's feeling sad about it. But someone feels somber about this. Because they know you're their true love. So let's see what's going on regarding these finances and career. Because I feel like someone's finances are affected by this other person or this relationship or whoever they have children with. So maybe they feel like they can't move forward with you until they get their finances together. Okay? All right, what's coming out here? I'm seeing Aries here again. Um, maybe in this party, I'm seeing Aries, Virgo. I'm seeing an earth sign here. Um, I'm just seeing someone not really dealing with their monies properly, having issues financially, but I feel like they will tell you about this in the near future. Um, they may tell you about how they want to improve their situation, but right now they feel like they're not appreciated where they are and things just can't move forward right now. Again, I'm seeing this sadness here. Okay, so these finances are creating much sadness. By the way, um, you guys know I'm really into here seeing your comments. I love to hear how this resonates with you specifically. So make sure you leave your comments below. When you leave your comments, it helps me better understand what is really going on. Because what I'm seeing here is someone is feeling extremely trapped in their situation. And really, they're feeling really sad about it. You know, a lot of people are coming into alignment with their purpose. A, pe a lot of people are coming into alignment with their mates, their twin flames, their soulmates, things of that nature. And a lot of them are already in uh, committed relationships. And as a result, they're now like miserable as a result of it. And I just feel like someone here right now is feeling extremely miserable about their situation and wishing they could get out of it. <sighs> but the finances are causing a major issue here. Okay, so let's just find out how your mate is doing. So Capricorn, this could be you. Again, this could be vice versa. Capricorn, this is either you or your mate. But right now, it's either you, Capricorn, the way I read it, is Capricorn is the one that's feeling sad because they're in financial constraints right now. They feel financially bound to something. Or because they don't have enough finances, they can't move on. These finances are really playing a major role in Capricorn's life right now. Okay? So let's go ahead and look into Capricorn's mate, how they're feeling. We're going to look into their past, present, and future. And again, many times when the past resonates with you, then your present and your future will. Again, if this does not resonate with you, make sure you can look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, if you have missed out on the first part of the month, that's in the previous videos with the monthlies. I do the monthlies for the full month, which is a general read. And then I also go into the first half of the month with love. So that's all in one video. Okay, so go back. Make sure you go back and look at the prior Capricorn reading. And actually for Capricorn, I believe I also did your December all the way through to the end of Capricorn season. So if you look at the December reading, it actually, because I started late, so I went on ahead and did your whole birthday. So it goes up until June 22nd. So you can look there. Um, you can look at January's and you have this mid-month. So Capricorn, you got a little extra bonus this month. <laughs> All right, Capricorn mid-month mate, how they're feeling. Okay. Okay, so in the past here, Capricorn is, uh, mates has been trying to let this, trying to give this relationship a trance. They're currently trying to let go of control issues around this. And in the near future, they will be expressing their love to you, Capricorn. Okay. So let's go ahead and just, oh, I feel like another one wants to come out. Yeah, in the near future, this chemistry will come back. They feel like they're calling their soulmate in because they do feel like they really do deserve love. And I do see them finally ending something, ending a relationship, no longer making the effort in regards to maybe the children. Um, whatever was holding them back in the past, um, I feel like won't necessarily hold them back in the future. 
So they feel like they want to give this relationship a chance. So let's go ahead and see what else happened here in the past for Capricorn's mate. Some of you may also be dealing with Scorpio. I just heard that. Um, I'm seeing Sagittarius here. <sighs> okay, so they're trying to give this relationship a chance. They saw that there were no actions. They've been trying to be patient. I think they got to a point where they no longer could be patient. Um, they no longer felt like they were even appreciated. Maybe you stopped talking to them. I'm not sure what happened. But these finances, they know. Um, it looks like they are aware of these financial issues as of the past. They've been trying to think about it, think on it, but they've been trying to hold strong. They've been trying to keep their strength throughout this whole situation. And even some of them felt kind of foolish holding on, but they continue to hold on. They continue to be your ace boom coon, okay? Am I dating myself? Um, let me start talking like the Mac. Hey, baby. <laughs> anyway, baby, come on, baby. Anyway, y'all got to look up the Mac if you want to know. If y'all know about the Mac, give me a whoop whoop below, okay? Give me a whoop whoop below if you know something about the Mac and the Mac. And that's where they get Mac talking from. Y'all know what, you know, people talking about, oh, they Macking on so-and-so. That's because Mac was a person. Mac was in a movie. Mac was the biggest pimp. Mac. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm dating myself. Anyway, um, so in the past here, again, <sighs> They knew you were going to have to take, make a decision. They had to make a decision themselves. Um, they didn't want to be regulated by this court proceeding, by whatever's going on with your finances. I feel like they know that someone is trying to take your money. They know that you're not in a financially good place. So in the past, they had to make a decision on whether or not they were going to remain or not. Um, whether or not they want to stay in this relationship, whether or not they want to let you out of this bond, meaning take you out of even this, because I feel like someone left someone behind, left them in a cold. Um, they've been thinking about this whole trap situation, whether or not you really are trapped. This is what was going on here in the past, because I'm seeing someone not feeling trapped in the past, not being left out in the cold anymore. So whatever happened and them coming out of competition. So someone is telling, someone is telling Capricorn that, and this could be Capricorn telling you, again, this could go vice versa, but someone is telling the other that they can move forward. I feel like someone's leading the other to believe that a decision has been made, they are moving forward, and, um, but that's not the case is what I'm saying. I feel like what someone's saying is different from what is actually occurring. Okay? So let's see what's going on here in the uh, current. They're trying to let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay? So someone definitely is thinking about what happened here in the past. Um, they're also meditating on their relationship with you in the future, a family unit with children and all. Someone may be juggling someone who was not a soulmate for someone who may have been their true love, but I feel like currently someone's trying to let go of this situation. I feel like someone's really overly controlling, though, and trying to maybe let this other person go, get out of a commitment. But, um, but all of this is just burdensome, and I feel like it's definitely the financial aspect of it all. Someone's just thinking about how someone is being manipulated through this whole process and possibly wanting to get out of it. But they're trying to let go of the control issues concerning this third party, concerning this uh, wife, mother, father, person. Someone's trying to let this happen naturally. So expressing your love. <sighs> So someone's willing to come back together with you in the near future. They want you to express their love. They will be happy and joyous if, you know, they can express their love again. This is Capricorn's mate. They want to reunite here in the future. Um, I feel like this is someone um, from your past or you're someone from their past. But um, regardless of the third-party situation, they feel like they're still holding on. They are heartbroken in the process. They're overjoyed, want to stay in it, but they know that um, the situation is not over. 
they know that uh, whatever else is going on here, they know it's not over. But I still see them wanting to talk about um, maybe still moving forward with you, talking about maybe accepting this love, but expressing it, but not fully moving forward. I, I still feel like someone's expressing this love, but maybe not fully moving forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. Um, oof, I feel like more wants to come out. Someone's definitely thinking, um, your partner is thinking about how whether, they're questioning whether or not you're their mate or not. They're questioning whether or not they can move forward with you in that way. They're questioning whether or not you are their soulmate. They're listening. Um, they're trying to hear. They're trying to make an intelligent decision. This is about them making an intelligent decision. They don't want to get got. Um, some of the, them may be ready to give up. Because I think some of them feel like they've been manipulated. They feel like they have been manipulated. Someone's just trying to do too much. That's, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. So let's go ahead and find out from your partner. Let's find out for both of you. The partner, Capricorn, and their partner. What the obstacles and blocks are. And then once I identify what the obstacles and blocks are, then we're going to give you both practical advice. We're going to give you practical advice and then love advice. I'm going to start off with Capricorn's mate. Then I'm going to go to Capricorn. Okay? So let's find out what the obstacles and blocks are for Capricorn and their mate for the end of the month. <sighs> Someone's wondering whether or not this is an unrequited love. Wondering if there's going to be enough chemistry and attraction to pull us off, to keep to stay in there, to continue to work for it, to all of that. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that seems to be the issue here. So let's go ahead and get you some advice. First, for Capricorn's mates. We're going to get you some practical advice, some head over heart decision, because it looks like somebody is definitely trying to make a head over heart decision, try to make the smart move. Who's making that smart move? Again, make sure you leave your comments below, okay? Okay. Okay, because one of you feel alone in all of this. Feel like you're dealing with this alone. You don't have anyone else. Um, so the advice here is you're going to have to find balance in your life. I, I know some of you don't want to hear this, but finding balance is what's going to keep you going. Open your heart and make a decision. Decisions need to be made right now. Capricorn's mate. Because again, I feel like you feel alone. So now you need to find the balance in your life. You need to find that balance. Find what makes you happy, you happy, Capricorns, mate. I was about to say, you need to find what happy Capricorn. <laughs> you need to find out what's happy for you, Capricorns, mate. What makes you happy, okay? Some of you need to take the lead in your life right now. And I'm also saying some of you need to move on. So let's see what the love advice is for Capricorns, mate. What I'm seeing is some, someone may need to, you know, take a walk, maybe just contemplate what it is they want. But they need to take the lead in their life. Take the lead. Don't leave it up to someone else to make you happy. Many times we think a partner is what makes you happy, but to be the happiest in a relationship is to be happy within yourself. You cannot find happiness in a relationship if you're not happy yourself. Simple. It's a simple concept. You fill your cup, then you can work filling a cup with someone else. But if you cannot fill your own cup and make sure you're balanced, make sure you're good, maybe some of you need to take time out for yourself. But let's see what the loving advice is as well. The love move, moves that Capricorn's mate needs to make at the end of the month. Some of you need, need to find out what is best for you. Um, go back to what it is that you love. Realize what it is that you love. 
and then go for it because you have miracles and blessings coming your way okay i hope you guys can see this everything has its gift be present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible but you need to be praying you need to be um be present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible Everything is a gift. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. If some of you are walking in fear and you feel like you've given too much to someone else, most likely you have. So the imbalance is coming in because you have, you're just, just doing too much. Do something for yourself. Give back to yourself. All right, anything else, Spirit? Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Wow, I knew this was going to come out. I was kind of waiting for it. I thought it was going to come out in the first two. But number three, that works. Back to what it is that you love. Go back to what it is that you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to e re-evaluate what it is that you want. Oh, there's a deer on my backyard. It's so cute. Look at the deer. Did you guys see that back there? I just saw something out the back of my eye. I'm like, what is that moving back there? Okay, so take a chance on love, but also this is giving you the opportunity to reevaluate what it is that you want in your life. Okay, Capricorns, mate? So I feel like I need to give you a little spiel on that, but I feel like I've kind of given it to you, but really at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. In order for you to be loving in a loving relationship, you have to love yourself first. And if you don't love yourself first, it's like those people who hate themselves, then they're going to hate on you. Those people who never experienced love, then they're going to treat you like they were treated. They are not going to love because they don't know how to love. If you're one of those broken people who need to learn how to love yourself first and you're loving like you may have seen somebody else love, loving like you might see people on TV, you know that shit's fake, right? Excuse my language. You know that shit's fake, right? <laughs> you need to find out what love is to you. And this is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what, what that is. Because if you've been in this relationship long enough and you do not know who you are, then you can't do nothing for Capricorn. You got to handle your business first. So Capricorn, <sighs> let's get practical advice for you, Capricorn, now. Okay? And guys, make sure you thumbs up before you leave here. Okay? I love you guys. So the cross watchers, if you're on your way out, I'm just saying you might want to listen to the Capricorn side. So Capricorn, let's get some practical advice for Capricorn regarding this relationship. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Practical advice for Capricorn for the end of this month. Okay. Believe and you'll succeed. There are challenging times coming, but if you believe in yourself and listen, you may succeed in this, okay? This is what came out for you. Believe. Challenging times are coming, but you can believe in the process. Listen to what's going on around you. Listen. And make sure you leave your comments, because I would like to know, what is it that you're not listening to? Who is it that you're not listening to, Capricorn? Are you not listening to your mate? Who are you not listening to? Some of you may need to release some old resentment, past hurts, and go more with the flow. And everything will work out in your best interest, okay? And then the opportunities will come your way, okay? So go along with the flow. Some of you may need to release. Let me know what it is that you need to listen to and release. Capricorns, Capricorn. Let's find out what your love message is. See, Capricorn, I know it seems like I put all this energy into your love message for your partner, but if we get your partner right, we get you right. Ain't that the truth? When one of y'all are off kilter, the other one's off kilter. Know that. You are affected by your partner's issues. Whether you believe it or not, you are. Capricorn. Right? Holla if you hear me. Give me a whoop whoop below if you know what I'm talking about. Those mature followers, those mature Capricorns, let me know how you feel. Okay? So consider your foundation. Dang, I just talked about this. 
Consider your foundation. I don't make this up. I just want to make sure y'all see that good. Consider your foundation. Okay. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. And what I love about this card it's because it's talking about the family. It's talking about home. You see the house in the background here. How committed are you to your current relationship? How committed are you to this? So right now, you have to decide. You have to decide. Like we saw, someone needs to make a decision. Maybe it's you. And someone doesn't want to be held accountable for someone else's decision. They want to make a decision and just know they made a decision, not feel like they're affecting everyone else. But when you don't make a decision, no, you are still making the decision. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and then act on it. So Capricorn, um, <sighs> consider how you love because many times um, you're acting based off of maybe how you were raised and um, you at this time need to take time to listen. Listen to how someone's loving you, speaking the language of love, and you speak the language of love. Maybe some of you are having a hard time doing this. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own, okay? So I want you to make sure you listen to that. Listen to this over and over again if you need to. Uh, let me see if I can get one more bit of advice for you, Capricorn, before I head out. Because I know it's still your birthday month, so let me go ahead and see what else Capricorn may need during this time. It may be related or not, but... It's a little something something for the Capricorns out there. Okay. One more bit of advice for Capricorn. Inmates, what's in the month? What else does Capricorn need to hear at this time? Ooh. Okay, dokie. <laughs> I guess it is about your mate and your partner. <laughs> okay, guess what? Partnerships. Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from person and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. Don't give up on your partnership. Identify what partnership you want to be in and then allow them to help you in this process, okay? I love you guys. I love you guys. Say <laughs> I love you guys. See you guys later. Make sure you ring the bell below here if you want to come back. Um, make sure you um, hit subscribe and thumbs up before you roll out. I love you guys. Blessings, love, and light. Come back. I'll see you in February. Bye-bye.